Uh, Y'all hear to the story about Megan Thee Stallion. She's with Tory Lanez and allegedly got shot in the foot when she was trying to leave. And people were making fun of it and making memes and all kind of things. And um, Megan Thee Stallion, she was saying, you know, that it really hurt her to see all these comments and these memes and that people, you know, she's really traumatized. She said this, um, black women are so unprotected and we hold so many things in to protect the feelings of others without considering our own. It might be funny to y'all on the internet and just another messy topic for you to talk about, but this is my real life and I'm real life hurt and traumatized. Ladies, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, because the, the, the internet don't have no chill. You know At what I mean? All. But unfortunately, um, you gotta have thick skin because when it comes to your business, you know what I mean? You got to take it on the chin, just like when they talk about everybody else's business, you're not exempt from it. You know what I mean? Does it hurt your feelings? Absolutely. Welcome to show business. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Lisa Ray, I learned the rule a long time ago. If you don't want to get your feelings hurt, hurt, don't go, don't scroll through the comments. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Because they will hurt your feelings. They and I think them. because also before that she even got to that point, they were questioning her about she was hanging out with Jordan Woods a couple of days before, then she hung out with Kylie Jenner, and they was like, Ooh. wait a minute, you clout chasing, it seemed like you just trying to be friends with any and everybody, and then you leave from there, turn up, and then we hear about this this fiasco that happened in the car. We really still don't know what really happened, but it left her going to the hospital getting bullets out of her foot. I'm concerned that she can't be able to wear heels anymore. I mean, we know right. her knees intact to be able to do what she do, but how about the heels? I don't know. Did so, y'all also see the footage when she got out of the car and it was like a copter and she was like going backwards. The first thing I thought, I said, does the child got any clothes? Yeah. Well, you should say that all the time. Then. But you know what I mean? But it was that night. What? No joke. Y'all like they got pulled over, had the helicopters. You know what I mean? The ghetto bird out. Yeah. Girl, they had the ghetto bird out on them. She went back. She was limping going back. And then all of a sudden you hear that she's in the hospital and that the dude that was with him, may have shot her twice yeah i was like oh poor megan and they was mad too her fans oh my god they came out what, what were they mad what about they though? Fans? She, she got she she the one that got shot so why are they mad well i'm, I'm confused well, no, they, because at first they didn't say who shot her mm -hmm. it okay was well did you know, she got shot i yeah. saw a post where she was saying it was a it was a long post about women what having happened? to um take you know take it on the chin and take the rap and not tell you know keep certain things in did you guys see her uh talk about her, that i did but so, I, I thought it was her clearing the air about she didn't get arrested she uh, got shot twice but she still didn't say what happened and they so, went to Howie jenner's house that night so that's what happened that that's yeah she got shot at, shot at Kylie Jenner's house? No, girl, riding in the SUV. They were there earlier, though. You she know, said someone tried to harm her. And so she said, she said in that, in that uh, statement that someone tried to harm her and that, you know, it just sucks that black women have to continue to hold things in to cover up for other people. So it was And, I, all, and so I think she also tweeted that she has to watch who she hangs with which is a tough lesson to learn for everybody. Cause you got to realize y'all, when you get a top hot hit, everybody wants you at their parties. That phone's ringing off the, off the, off the, you know, like people that you admire, you're like, who's calling today? Oh, okay. You know, and then I'm sure they're calling with appearance money and this and the third. So, you know, th this is that, 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 that double-edged sword, especially for a woman in the rap game, having a hot hit, she has to watch who she, who she associates herself with, and she always needs to travel with a bodyguard. So, Viv, I got to ask you this. Uh, your, your boy, your ex boo, 50, who's known to troll people, posted a yeah. meme. Again, okay, he in this one, okay. He, put, he, del he posted a meme and he deleted it using a reference from the movie Boys in the Hood. He photoshopped Tory Lane and Meg Thee Stallion's head on the images, and the caption read, Run, Ricky, run! What the f is going on? Is this yet another example why black women don't feel protected by a black man? Like a woman at the end of the day got shot in the foot that we love her music. And even if we didn't love her music, a woman, a black woman got shot in the motherfucking foot and it's a joke. But she didn't die 
And so he makes fun of her because we got to realize who he is. His history is he going to talk about any, everybody. That's what, uh, I'm not surprised. Are y'all? Does he get a pass though? Do we, is it okay for him to do this? No. He probably do okay. Hell no. Hell no. It's not okay. It's not okay for Trump to be, to do the dumb shit that he does. It's not okay for a bunch of narcissistic people to do the shit that they do. But they keep they getting do. away with it. Yeah. We've been, as black women, we've been talking about needing black men. And it's good that you pointed that out though, Claudia, because at the end of the day, when y'all be like uh, black men, hey y'all, black men out there, hello. When y'all be like, what y'all talking about? We are, you know, y'all always complaining. This is the shit right here that we're talking about. So when you wanna know why we have a time with you, these are the reasons why. So at some point, you're gonna have to check each other. You're gonna have to do a gender check. I just wanna ask, like, what do you stand for? Cause you just tearing everybody down whenever you can, brother. What yeah. do you stand for? You mean 50 cent? Yes. Stand yes. for exotic. Uh, and get off the boat. Huh? Then there's that. <laughs> then there's that. <laughs> let, me just, let me just put this out there. He on some boat that's what he's on. Whoever is watching that's going to turn this little clip into a 10 second thing, uh, I asked Vivica a question. She didn't bring him up. She's not fixated with him. She's not still in love with him. We're talking about it because he's a hot topic. What he said. And he he's always stepping back in some shit. And they still going to cut that clip and play that. <laughs> That's all right. That's just don't he, nobody care. You know what I mean? He's just bad news bear of the day. What's happening? I'm gonna try to make a damn joke about it. Want to see it? Here you go. He, he did post the clip on his page. Listen, let me tell you something about cocktails with the queen. We done got a Nicki Minaj song because of Lisa Red. We on we on Fifty Cent's page because of Vivica Fox. Selena, you all tell telling everybody how much of a fool they are. They love that. Yeah, and I'm just something real. A fool! Half of America is a fool. <laughs> they, they, they try to show up in my crib. I'm like, I'm moving, mother.